Chronic venous insufficiency disease is a common disorder that affects the veins of the legs. These veins carry blood from the legs to the heart. Normal veins have a series of valves that open and close to direct blood flow from the surface of the legs to the deep leg veins from which cough muscles pump blood back to the heart. What are the causes of chronic venous disease? A clot will block blood flow through the vein and cause pressure to build up. Often, this causes permanent damage to the vein or valves even after the clot has dissolved. Leg injury or surgery, excess weight or weight gain, pregnancy or obesity can increase pressure in the veins of the legs and damage the veins and valves. Standing or sitting for too long. What are the symptoms of chronic venous disease? These include painless enlarged veins, skin irritation, skin discoloration, itching, swelling, and skin ulcers. The legs may feel heavy, tired, or achy, usually at the end of the day or after prolonged standing. Dilated veins may appear as thin blue flares, often called spider veins, or much wider twisted veins called varicose veins. Skin can become irritated and inflamed, resulting in redness, itching, dryness, oozing of fluid, scaling, open sores from scratching, and crusting or scabbing. Some people develop brown or red shiny areas that are hard and scar-like and can be painful. Venous ulcers these are usually uncomfortable, tender, shallow, red at the bottom, and may ooze or drain small to large amounts of fluid. Venous ulcers can take a long time, months, or sometimes years to heal. Chronic venous disease management. Simply elevating the legs above the heart level for 30 minutes three or four times per day can help speed healing of venous ulcers. To be effective, it is important to elevate the legs above the level of the heart. Simply putting your legs up on a footstool does little to improve drainage of blood from the legs. Walking exercises, foot and ankle exercises several times throughout the day can help move blood from the legs back to the heart. Compression stockings gently compress the legs and may improve blood flow in the veins by preventing backward flow of blood. Intermittent pneumatic compression pumps are devices that consist of flexible plastic sleeves that encircle the lower leg. Air chambers lining these plastic sleeves or cuffs periodically inflate, compress the leg, and then deflate, squeezing the legs. Compression bandages may consist of one or more layers of an elastic wrap and applied by a nurse or doctor. Dressings are important for venous ulcers. Dressings help ulcer heal, reduce pain, control odor, remove dead or infected skin cells, and help new skin cells to grow. Medications include aspirin, as this may speed healing of ulcers. Antibiotics are only recommended when there is an infection. Topical antimicrobial agents are rarely needed and may cause allergic reactions that complicate rather than improve the condition. Horse chestnut seed extract at a dose of 300 mg twice daily is available as a dietary supplement. Hydroxyethyl rutocide is a prescription medication available in Europe. Micronized purified flavonoid fraction is also available as a dietary supplement to 500 mg tablets daily. The skin irritation caused by chronic venous disease called stasis dermatitis often improves by using moisturizers. Sometimes a steroid cream or ointment is needed to help with itching and inflammation. Other creams and ointments anti-itch products, and scented lotion should be avoided because there is a risk of developing an allergic rash or contact dermatitis from these products. Thank you for listening. Be healthier.